Innovative solutions are out there to help address food deserts, too often found in inner cities like the area around that top supermarket. Chief Meteorologist Ginger Z shows us in this week's It's Not Too Late. Hey there, I'm Ginger Z, and it's not too late. Please come inside because I'm in this upcycled shipping container. It's 40 feet long, and they are growing more than 400 pounds of mushrooms a week. And that's just in this one. This could just be the future of agriculture. Even in some of our nation's busiest cities, there are serious food deserts. These are places where people live a half mile or more with no access to fresh food at a supermarket. But here in the Denver suburb of Sedalia, Colorado, Farmbox Foods believes they've got a solution. Inside this 40-foot long upcycled shipping container, you're going to find a vertical hydroponic farm. And it creates as much as two football fields worth of traditional agriculture. So we're currently in what I call our, our modern farming spaceship. Okay. This is an uh, insulated container that has been repurposed and then we have engineered a product that grows right around two and a half acres to three acres of farmland in this in this container so we can be standing in this container here today and have a truck show up tomorrow and we can put it on a flatbed truck and ship it to chicago and 48 hours later plug it in and it's growing and we don't use pesticides we use nutrients and I think the biggest thing that we have going for us is we use three to five gallons of water a day. That's it. Farming is not easy on the environment. In the United States, more than 40% of our fresh water is used to irrigate crops. And agriculture alone makes up at least 11% of the greenhouse gas emissions in our nation. Tell me about the energy use. I use the equivalent of about two loads of wash per day and we find that our plants are growing three to four times faster than they would in an ordinary environment. So we like to say we're farming without harming. So these are mustard greens right here. Can I rip here. one off and taste it? You certainly can. Yeah, very good. Why don't you try the basil? If you okay, can. sure, if you insist. It, is, it, it pops, mm -hmm. it, it's amazing. Yeah, it's a nice basil. Yeah. Plenty of greens, tomatoes, even bell peppers sprouting in the vertical tubes. Temperature controlled, they can produce year round in any location. Here, we found a farm box behind this natural grocer in Lakewood, Colorado, where they now control their supply chain and fill their produce section. So Mike, this is harvest time. Yeah. So We're this... gonna take it directly from this wall into the grocery store? Correct. Yeah, so this wall right here has been growing for about seven weeks, okay. almost almost 50 days now, um, and it's ready to go. So we'll be harvesting, taking it directly into our store, to the sales floor, ready for our customers. All right, so tell me what I'm picking here. Can I just take uh, it out? Yeah, yeah that okay. right there is a Bauer oak leaf lettuce. Um, I mean, freshness being number one. It, it's much more nutrient-dense because it hasn't been sitting on a shelf in a warehouse. Um, it hasn't been shipped across the country. Follow you out of the container and just like, what, 50 yards to the store? Yeah, it's about 90, a little less than 90 steps to the display. Okay. Do your uh, customers we've done things get it? Like do they understand that this is like actually right behind? Yeah, yeah, do we, we do our best to advertise it. It's still a new wow. program, so there's customers that don't know about it yet. Yeah. Um, but we do our best to talk about it. Um, let everyone know that it's right on display, 82 steps away right. from where it's grown. Look at it. It's right here. Straight. You got all of them. And what's your best seller? The butter lettuce has the been the best lettuce. by okay. far. Um, so you really just take it right from here and put it on there? Exactly. And yeah. very, I mean, that's barely a little touching. Like, we're always so worried about washing, triple washing, all this. Yeah. Fre freshest nutrients cost can be beneficial? Yeah, right now it is cheaper than our traditional greens. One of Farmbox Foods' biggest clients? A hospital system. I have never heard of fresh food mm. at a hospital. <laughs> Why is this important to you? We went out and talked to our neighbors about what are some of the most significant barriers that you're facing in health? And what we learned was in almost all of our communities, food insecurity was a significant issue. In 2020, one in eight Americans did not have access to fresh food, and they were considered food insecure. 
So Centura Health bought three farm box containers. But like the basil and spinach inside your <laughs> boxes actually yeah. go onto hospital plates. So the basil and the spinach, which is outstanding, the flavor like you've never had before. So we're right now, we're serving this for our patients and for our own associates and community members who come into the hospitals. And then as we grow and develop in the foods, then we're also giving this food to the communities through local food banks, farmers markets, so that people can get access and the food will be available for them. So you think you'll overproduce for the hospital and be able to That's share? That's exactly right. One of the typical criticisms of vertical farming is the limitation on the variety of food that can be produced. But Farmbox tells us that they're testing carrots, potatoes, and even radishes, providing more options for healthy, fresh produce. Food is health. Right. Nutrition is health. And, and this a, ensures that you've got it year-round. And that we can introduce people to a whole different way of getting their food, tasting their food, using their food in a cultural, respective way, but also in a way that's affordable and available year-round. Farmbox Foods is expanding globally, already in Jamaica, Canada, Tahiti, and multiple locations across our nation. And therefore, maybe it won't be too late for affordable access to food. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.